Hey, how you do, guys doing? I found a real interesting topic, and normally I don't cover viruses and, and uh, exploits or things like this, but this one is important because this can affect the performance of your computer. And uh, this one's called Zombie Load, and this has to do with hyper-threading for Intel processors uh, going back to uh, 2011. And now this doesn't affect ARM processors or AMD CPUs, for instance. Um, and before we go into the actual exploit, let me talk a little bit about hyperthreading. Now, hyperthreading is basically where um, each core of the processor can run two threads, and then that will actually give you up to maybe 40% uh, performance enhancements, um, depending on uh, many variables such as the operating system, application, and so forth. Um, now basically what this uh, zombie load does is uh, it's a design flaw in the chips that allows stealing uh, information directly from the CPU using fill, bus uh, fill buffers, I was going to say busters, fill buffers. And this is built into the, the way the hardware is designed so um, you can't really physically change a chip per se. Um, there are some software fixes. Uh, which we're gonna uh, also get into. Um, now, Intel says um, some of the software fixes will, won't affect performance that much. Some of the simpler fixes, uh, they said it's only gonna affect performance from three to 6% depending. Now, unfortunately, to completely fix a problem with this exploit will mean turning off hyper-threading and in many cases, that may not be the best route for people who need the most performance, such as myself, because I use for, for video editing, need as much performance as possible. Um, people who just use it for web browsing or watching videos is, is not going to uh, affect them uh, per se. Now, looking at the three different operating systems, it, it will affect, of course, Mac OS, uh, Microsoft Windows, and Linux. Um, for instance, Chrome OS, which is basically, I think, used on their um, iPads, I think, or not iPads, but tablets or mobile devices, and they're turning uh, hyper-threading completely off, which was definitely going to affect um, performance, or can definitely. Um, I'm not sure about Linux or Windows per se, since I use Mac. But I know um, Apple, to help fix this, they're primarily going to do it through Safari and Java, their Java web browser, which means you got to be uh, hopefully other uh, web browsers such as uh, Google Chrome is going to fix their own uh, with new updates. Now, Apple's not going to turn it off system wide because obviously, obviously it's going to affect performance. But they do give you an option through the terminal where you can turn hyper threading off. And then once you do that, you actually have to go into recovery mode to complete uh, turning off hyper-threading completely for your Intel CPU. So um, this is uh, this kind of really bothers me. So if you need the most security as possible, then obviously you're going to have to turn hyper-threading off. Uh, but for other people where uh, turning it off for um, the performance may impact yourself greatly such as video editing um, visual effects um, CAD work uh, computer editing, drafting and so forth um, there's going to be some problems with doing that obviously um, I'm also wondering how is that going to affect hyper threading in Intel CPUs in the future for, with new chips um, I'm not guessing they're going to Take away hyper threading. They may have to change the uh, the actual CPU itself in the uh, processor chip, perhaps maybe to prevent this exploit from taking place. I'm not sure. So this uh, this will impact everybody in some way. But the performance was definitely a a, a big thing for me. So which is why I want to report it to you guys uh, for your own information. Well. Um, Thanks for watching and, and uh, see you guys later.